I was only six years old when my family's trajectory changed forever. Those are the words of writer Morgan Jerkins, niece of writer's producers Rodney and Fred Jerkins, in reference to how Brandy in 1998 changed everything for her family. At that time, Morgan was traveling a lot, being homeschooled, and lived in the Oakwood Apartments in Woodland Hills with her family and many other aspiring up-and-comers in the entertainment industry like Hilary Duff. Morgan stated that some of the biggest memories that I have are not necessarily of the stargazing, but of the time spent in recording studios throughout Los Angeles where my uncles, Rodney and Freddie, were working around the clock with Brandy for her sophomore album, Never Say Never. I can't keep on loving you one foot outside the door. After meeting Brandy at a restaurant in Los Angeles, Rodney and his colleagues ended up completing five songs in five days. Brandy was already a platinum selling R&B star with a hit TV show, but this is when things really went to the next level. Morgan remembers first meeting Brandy while she was eating food from Taco Bell in the studio. Goals, she even experienced Brandy and Monica walking in and out of the booth recording the soon to be iconic, The Boy Is Mine. Morgan says of the track, according to my uncles, initially, the recording executives did not want The Boy Is Mine to be the first single. We went up to bat for that song, my Uncle Freddie explains. It was going against the grain. The industry was really sample driven at the time, and The Boy Is Mine wasn't. Good choice, fellas. The Boy Is Mine went on to sell over 2 million copies domestically and sat at the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 for 13 weeks. To read the full story directly from Morgan Jerkins, check out Billboard.com. For Billboard News, I'm Tetris Kelly.